So every year in April, I take a little break from StarCraft because StarCraft doesn't give as great of an April Fool's event as League of Legends. And in this game, someone was stupid enough to leave a lot of overpowered champions open. So that this is going to be quite interesting. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to start with damage because in the last one, I feel like I just wasn't doing enough to well, do anything. Okay. And as we all know, walking is for the scrubs. Uh, I think that little exchange went pretty even. Just got his ward, I got my ward. I don't know if I want to use the potion right now, because the potion is kind of, well, worthless. Well, it might be useful later on, so, eh. We'll see. So we got guys with guns back there. It's a good thing that bird missed. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, that bird actually blinds people. I didn't know that. Seems like we got the first kill off of Master Yi. Very nice. Oh yeah, shit is actually happening up there. Don't think they're going to pick that up because the guy is at full health. See, I feel like my overall goal in this game is just stay alive. I don't need that retard magnet. I don't really even know what that is. It is. Uh... <laughs> it's Sona. Yes, Sona is a little bit on the overpowered side. Although, I am not as good a player as I, I would like, so. Ah. Unfortunate that I missed that. Okay, so now I got that, so I should be able to deal a little bit more damage and play a little bit less safely because I had I do have that heal, so I have a little bit of sustain left. I can do stuff like this. Oops, I died. That's unfortunate. Well, none of this is actually looking good right now, but I see bird guy here somehow managing to hit me. I'm calling that bullshit because really that should not have hit me. Forgot I had I had that heal. So let's get this. Seems like my allies' crap sort of uh, disappeared, unfortunately. Got that, very nice. Ah, double kill, double kill. Oh shit, oh shit, there's another thing. Ah, I died again. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. Yep. Shaco is pretty OP, so I can manage to pick all of that shit up. And now I have my items, or at least some of my items. Sheen is actually, in my opinion, one of the better items because it 
does give you that ability to dish out a lot more damage. So I feel like I I'm just slightly more useful after Sheen, and another level is slightly more useful after I get that uh, Lich Bane. Let's see how that works out. Seems like a lot of crap is hidden in that bush. Oh, my ally is actually going back, so that's a little bit unfortunate. But there is a, a huge pile of crap in there. What exactly is this shit? Well, at least I managed to pick that, pick up that kill as well, so... Not exactly doing too badly, but this 3-3 is bad considering how I picked the really overpowered champion. So I really should step up the game and uh, kill more people. I think I can actually afford this at this point. It's nice. i teleport back in. It's kind of unfortunate that I'm locking Shaco into this lane because he's supposed to be running around, as far as I know. Managing to keep that retard magnet alive just a little bit more. I feel like every second that the retard magnet stays alive is a little bit better for me. Somehow picking up the double kill right there. I don't exactly know how that happens, but it just seems to happen at this point. So I think right now it'll be a good idea to push the tower. Still focusing on the creep, I guess. The creep spread, very, very important. But it doesn't mean I can't dish out some damage. So it does seem like someone teleporting in, but this is actually a really bad position for them to be in, considering how the tower is about to go down. See, Shaco is on my team, and I still can't tell which one is real, but that's good because I uh, managed to get out just a little bit more. Managing to pick up the Master Yi as well, and I feel like right now I got the game's momentum in my favor, so I, uh, I think we're doing fine. At 2,200 gold, I think I can afford the Void Staff. Actually, that's at 2, 2,295, which I'll be able to afford very, very shortly. So at this point, I think I can actually just stay here and wreck whoever decides to show their face. Still gonna focus on the creep because that gives... I feel like if I focus on the creep, considering how these are not bots, I'll get more gold than trying to actively kill people. So let's drop a ward over here. I don't know why my 4 key is not working. Let's go ahead and put that down. Missing the alt. Okay, that's a Trindamir. Ah! I forgot how- I don't even know how long that shit lasts. But it seems like I have vastly underestimated how long that alt lasts. But we're, we're at 7-4, so at least we're living up to our expectations from playing an overpowered character. What are we going to do at this point? We're going to get Rabadon's death caps because uh, hats are cool. So it seems like shit is happening up top. We're at 22 kills to 9 kills. And in terms of ratio, I'd say I could be doing better. But now my ult is back up, so if the Trinomir decides to show his face again, I feel like I'll, I will have a good chance of getting out. Managing to pick up a few more kills on the creep. Seems like people are just leaving me alone to farm right now. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, considering how most people that just show up dies. I think I'll start working on the turret at this point, because I can alternate my three spells to deal quite a bit of damage to the turrets when I uh, do that. I still don't know who's alive at this point. Oh, managed to pick up the turrets. Very nice. My turret's been destroyed? Really? Ah, there's a double kill, there's a double kill. More points in Q, because more damage is great. Should I go camp in front of their... Oh, that one. 
Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Never mind, not yet. Alright, I need to I need to kill this Trinomir freaking once because he killed me and I don't appreciate that. I feel like he's using me as a retard magnet right now. Okay, this is actually a really bad position and I really think that I should try to kill the Trindamir! Kill the Trindamir! Kill the Trindamir! Ah, he survived! He survived being killed! Get out of here! Well, someone else killed him, but I, I guess the fact that he died is, is the real important thing. Alright, I'm still managing to keep myself alive, but I feel like at this point that's really not something that's too hard to accomplish. <laughs> killed on the summoner platform. Very, very depressing if you are the one dying. I'll try and keep the retard magnet alive, I guess. Because at this point, I don't understand what other thing I can do. Eh, I guess I can try and kill the Trinomir. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Shit. Oh well. We're at 12 to 5, so we're still doing good. Now, the only thing that would not suck is if somehow I managed to, to uh, revive before the Nexus goes down, but it looks like that's not gonna happen, so whatever. <laughs>